Brothers would be proud of that. Your brothers would be proud of that. <laughs> Little Charlotte is hopefully going to be assisting Hampshire based entrepreneur Kate Bell. Hey, green, green. Who's come up with a new idea to tackle an age old issue. My product's actually incredibly simple, but it solves the most obvious problem. Tuka, it's baby carrier combined with clothing. It's just I like know. all of your expertise yeah. rolled into one. Interesting. Tuka Solomon has a wealth of knowledge in the industry, so his contacts would be a huge benefit to the brand. But the den's baby bigwig isn't the only dragon on Kate's radar. I'm really excited to meet Sarah. She knows what it's like, I guess, to, to build a business while looking after a family. I hope they bring a baby with them. I have poured my heart and soul into the brand over the last four years, and it has so much potential. Hello, my name's Kate Bell, and I'm the founder of Zip Us In. I'm here to ask for £50,000 in exchange for a 5% equity stake in my company. I'd like to show you how my simple product is solving two problems with one solution. Problem number one, this is Becky. As you can see, she can no longer fasten her favourite jacket. Problem number two, this is Chris and four-month-old Charlotte. I would imagine having been in here for a minute or so, both will be starting to overheat. And despite Charlotte being nice and settled in the carrier, Chris will have to take her out of the carrier and then have to remove the carrier to be able to take his own coat off. She's got the coolest hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> there is now one solution. The Zip Us In jacket expander panel attaches to a customer's own jacket to expand it and allow lots of extra space for a growing belly. So unlike an expensive maternity coat, the panel doesn't become redundant once the baby arrives. In fact, it becomes even more useful. So had Chris put the carrier on underneath his coat, he could then use the Zip Us In panel to expand the coat around the two of them. I would like to bring some product round for you to have a look at and then please do ask any questions. And thank you very much to my lovely models. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Charlotte. Bye, Charlotte. <laughs> a jacket expander panel is the product Kate Bell has developed. Thank you. Thank you. She's asking for £50,000 in return for 5% of her company. Thank you. Sarah Davies has two small children at home and she's first to grill the baby product boss. Kate. Hi. I think it's fantastic. You know, I would totally have bought one of these when we did our hours and hours and hours of baby carrying. <laughs> and so what is the biggest market for it? Is it the maternity side or is it the baby carrying? The, the baby carrying market, if I'm honest. The maternity is a really nice added bonus, but there aren't many solutions that will enable a parent to have the, the baby inside their jacket and do the jacket up. And has customer feedback been positive on it? Customer feedback's been really good, and we have had a lot of trial and error over the last couple of years to try and work out what the best solution is to make it really simple for a customer. So what's the vision? What are you hoping to achieve bringing your dragon on board? Um, I think it's just that, that support to, to grow it a bit faster. So we've um, had a lot of conversations with a distributor in Australia and New Zealand. Um, at the moment, our main selling season is from about August through till February, March. So it would be great to even out that seasonality by having sales channels into Australia and New Zealand. Globally, I think there is the potential there. So I think that's a smart move. I think that's the right thing. A bright start for the entrepreneur, as favoured dragon Sarah Davies commends her clothing concept and her strategy for expansion. Tuka Suleiman has companies and connections in both the clothing and baby care industries, and he wants to flesh out Kate's figures. Let's talk about margins and price. Mm -hmm. So what do they cost? The sort of entry-level product is £30 retail, yep. and they cost £6.30 to manufacture. So what about this year's turnover? For the year that's just ended, um, we turned over 157,000 right. with a net profit of 20,000. So, the valuation. <laughs> so you've got a valuation of a million pounds. Mm -hmm. Unless something's going to happen 
miraculously in the next 12 months. I can't work out the valuation here. So we have so far doubled revenue year on year and intend to continue with that growth strategy. So it could be worth a million pounds in five years time, but it's not worth a million pounds today. I think with, with a dragon's help and with investment, it could be worth a million pounds a hell of a lot faster. So you're telling me that I should get involved, I should add all my expertise, get it to where you want it, be worth a million pounds in a few years' time, but you want the money up front now. Doesn't make sense to me. So let's look at the financing. So how much have you put into it? About, about 40,000. And how much cash you got in the bank? Um, at the moment, we are in debt position. How much? Uh, about 110,000. How much? 110,000. Oh! Yeah, in total. Is the bank on your back? Yes. The revelation that the entrepreneur owes a six-figure sum to her lenders has sent shockwaves through the den. Deborah Meaden now wants to get to the bottom of how Kate has managed to amass so much debt. What did you spend all of that money on? I think a large proportion of the debt that we've incurred has been product development. Um, the product didn't work the way I wanted it to, so we then had to go through the tooling process again to get that right. So how so, much did you lose on the tooling? Um, first time round, about 18,000. And the second time round? Uh, it's about 11,000. So you lost £27,000 on tooling. OK. And keep going, because you've borrowed 110,000. Some of that money has been paid for stock, um, marketing, so that's just kept the business going for the last couple of years. What's the interest rate of your loans? Uh, I think it's about 16%. 16%? 16. Woof. Yeah. That's why I asked. They're very high. Kate, I'm going to tell you something. Unless you get an investment, you're in a very sticky situation. I think you know that. Yeah, we're aware we've got a forecast for turnover for, for next year of 300,000, which we have the stock in place for already. That's That's been produced. So we've got a very good product and the carrier market is no, growing massively. I, I'm in the baby world. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I have a philosophy, cash is king. Cash, cash, cash. You're not really making any money. You're probably not paying yourself a salary. And unfortunately, as a business, mm -hmm. you're insolvent. Tuka Suleiman pulls no punches as the business's fragile finances are expertly unpicked. Is Peter Jones ready to throw a lifeline to the floundering entrepreneur? You're, you are... You're in trouble, aren't you? It's a difficult position to be in yeah. because we've invested so much in trying to get to the business to this point, and now we've got a really solid product, a good brand, and we've now got something that I really want to, to grow. Yeah. OK, I, 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 as much as this is great in terms of it, it does what it says on the tin, I don't think that there is any room whatsoever for an investor in this business because any investment is going against the debt that you owe. It's not going against growing the business, and that's the risk. So for me, this is not an investment opportunity, Kate. So I'm out. Peter Jones decides the company's debt is too big a drawback and makes a rapid exit. And it appears the high price the entrepreneur's lenders are charging for propping up her business has put Kate in the red with Deborah Meaden. You are paying very, very high interest rates on your loans, which is worrying for me as an investor, because when I look into the future, it makes me feel like oh, we need more money, we need more money, we need more money. And I'm afraid that leaves me with only one conclusion, that I can't invest. OK. So you. I'm sorry, I'm out. Your financial health of your company is very, very poor. And with all the debts that you've got on here, it just makes it a high-risk investment for anyone. So, good luck, but I'm out. Thank you. Um, at the moment, 
financially, in your prison situation, you're not investable. And I wish I could wave a magic wand and change that for you. But unfortunately, I'm not going to be the one to invest in that business with you, and I'm out. Kate's hopes of investment are dwindling as three dragons depart in quick succession. Only Sarah Davies remains. She was in the product inventor's sights before she entered the den. But is Kate now in the dragon's firing line? Do you know what I think is the biggest mistake that you've made? You've made the decision to invest a lot of money in IP, tooling, and I know you didn't quite get the tooling right the first time, you had to throw more money at it. But I think that's one of the learnings that I've taken from my career is yeah. I chose not to take expensive loans, but always organically funded my business. And I think that's the biggest mistake that you've made. Yeah. And if I look at this as an investment opportunity, it just doesn't feel possible for me. Um, so unfortunately, I'm out. OK, thank you. Thanks, Kate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Kate's borrowing from the banks has poleaxed her presentation and she leaves the den with nothing. It was <laughs> terrifyingly bad. <laughs> with the comments about the debt, the sales that we've forecast for this year will clear that debt and the company will be much healthier. It's just unfortunate that we had to get to that position to, to build the company. Sometimes we say you've come in too early. Actually, I wish she'd come in earlier. Just when she had the idea? Absolutely, because she's made the wrong decisions in the wrong order. I think every business owner makes mistakes, but I've made a lot of progress to get to this point, and there is a bright future ahead for the company.